Okay, we're gonna combine those herbs together. What is that? No, you're like, what do you guys think that is? Like, what, what do you, yeah, <laughs> like, come on now, who are you fooling? Greetings, villains, vigilantes, heroes, and heroines. I'm Midnight White, and you're watching Project Supervillain. Congratulations. You made it all the way to episode 3, and that in itself is worthy of a fucking medal. Even if not just for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the clicks, the subscribes, and everything else that you lot do to show us your support. It's been just as invaluable as your continued company has been, so let's keep it up. Come and hang out with us, because we love seeing your beautiful faces around here. Now, if you're not already too busy playing a lot of the awesome games that have come out this year or will be coming out this year, you can always come and watch our beautiful faces play them at twitch.tv slash project supervillain, where we will be live every single night, about 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, usually playing something different on the channel, so you'll always be spoiled for choice if you decide to show up. And if you follow us on Twitter, you will get updates every single time we go live on Twitch, so you'll never miss the party. But that's enough of me talking. You guys didn't come here to listen to that. You came here to watch zombies get their fucking skulls caved in. So, let's get to it, shall we? I never played that one. That was a fucking great game. Like when he shreds monsters in half, he's just like... Oh, fuck! We just fell through the fucking floor, dude! Yep, that's from the Hey, what's up, dude? That's from the original. Hey, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna... Oh, there's a lot of zombies down here. This is this part's meant to fucking like if I was still playing, I'd be fucking screaming. <laughs> there's a lot of them in here. Okay, let's see what do we got. I hope it improves because that's never good. Oh, nice. Now that's cool. Let me just stab you in the chest because I know that'll work. <laughs> Close. Yep. <laughs> they sure are. Oh, oh. fuck! <laughs> hey, buddy, what's up? Ah! You going out to lunch, eh? This is not lunch time. Hmm. <laughs> Red book. That looks painful. So I won't take that. Can I take that? Nope. Just go get bed again and use. Yeah, I just go. Yeah. <laughs> no, very good. Let's go ahead and. Uh, there we go. There should be some zombies on this floor too. Imagine there's zombies in a lot of places here. Yeah. Okay, not on this floor, I guess. Oh, we're usually back here. on the balconies. Yeah, this is right. Right, we got the key to open this back up. Yeah, that's what that's the door I was trying to find. I went through the wrong fucking door. <laughs> there you are. I'm still alive, man. I can't believe that. Very good. Yes. I knew she'd make it. This dude just found her first. Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. Side. Okay. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. Thanks, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Dan, thank you. Alright, so we're going to the courtyard. Is that what he told us to do? Oh! This is the waiting room. Who the fuck is the secretary? I need some service! What the fuck is that? It's a travel guide. In Raccoon City, did you know we, well, we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation. That's always good. Right? <laughs> Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we will introduce you to a few of the unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. The orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businessmen and citizens alike. They are definitely using the kids at that place for experimenting. Uh, Fuck. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Uh -huh. Good. Well, there you go. We learned something new today. Yeah, this is like Umbrella runs an hey, orphanage. They hey, are... Lieutenant! <laughs> yeah, it's Guess like. What? Umbrella owns an orphanage. You know, uh, it's like, <coughs> great. 
Yeah. Why are you me this? Actually, literally, the chief is probably in on it. <laughs> probably. The whole city's corrupt. Okay. Oh, That's the helicopter. Oh, what the fuck happened? The helicopter <laughs> crashed into the building and started a fire. Oh, oh fuck. That should have, like, caused more vibration. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should have been A more little bit more, yeah. So this is where we were supposed to go, okay. Saw, dude! Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be Claire, right there. I'll saw. Okay. You look like Zoe from Left 4 Dead. Open the gate a little! Oh, he's dead. She does look like Zoe. You just thought you could Claire. rock a red, like... It's okay, it's not Red sweater it's not and... Oh, yeah, hers is a hoodie. Yeah. They could just rock a long sleeve red shirt and a fucking ponytail in a zombie game. And no one would and notice! No. You thought you could get you away doing? with that? You know, how are you doing? Just, that's oh, I should have said living the dream. That would have been hilarious. Right? <laughs> living the dream. There. That's me. I like how they're just having like I'm a sure date at this fine. fence right here. Like, oh! <laughs> they're just casually flirting and they're like, oh yeah, we need to get through this, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> a fucking propeller just stabs through Chris, like with that explosion. Oh or, shit. Like, Chris fucking Leon. Leon. You might want to run there. Oh shit, they were sleeping. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Okay, I guess you're not getting in this way. Uh, you need to go now. Run! Don't stay there. Okay, let's get through this. Both of us. Okay, then maybe you should kill the zombie. Okay, peace. All right, clear. Uh, Marvin, I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Okay, walk cutters. I can give less shits. <laughs> Marvin, Marvin's like, what the fuck? I a shit I got. Marvin. Marvin's fucking dead, bro. Yeah, he might be dead by now. Damn it. Oh, we're cutting that. That's Chopping so chopping. weird. Just seeing the floating fucking things. Harry, <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill this guy too. Ooh, um, that's for the thieves. Yeah, we need that. This like, area is for advanced Resident Evil players. Yeah, we might have enough ammo to make it out of this area, but we gotta, like, go through the... Okay, that's where the steam valve is. That's good to know. What is this? Gunpowder high grade. I can't take it right now. So we're just gonna get the fuck oh, out of here. Oh, that pipe thing is for that Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, but we need to get out of here. I agree. We don't have any inventory space, so it's time for us to head back. Hopefully there's not a ton of assholes in the way. Okay. Oh. I'm so ready to get attacked by our ex-friend. I don't think you can. Shit. Trying to make it. Oh, no. another one. Yep. Oh no! That ruined my plan. I got stuck on a wall there. But we're gonna do one thing. Cause I hate how dark this place is. Oh god, I hope we can shut this. Didn't even help, it just opened that. <laughs> I know, like, maybe you need it to get through this area. Like, hopefully I can shut it. Can I shut this? Come on. That's, like, rather unfortunate, actually. No, uh, you can't but shut But the it. reason is, because this isn't a safe area anymore, anywhere, is it? It isn't, I guess. I mean, uh, you should still be able to friend? shut the door. Oh, he's a zombie now, didn't you hear him? He sounds like a zombie. Oh, maybe he's... He's definitely dying. Oh, okay. Can we get him a cure? Well, he's gonna die soon now that that door's open. Yeah. Maybe they- Do they just not come in here? Because that's pretty fucked. Yeah, maybe they don't. I mean, like, I would make- It would make it better if you could shut the door, but... I'm not gonna complain too much. <sighs> yep. Somewhere this way. I don't remember exactly where, though. The liquor might be down here. Oh, that asshole might be here. So that music. Not deal with him right now. The music makes me feel like that zombie's more intense than his. Okay, right? It's just a horde. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. There's a few of them down here. Oh shit. Oh, we just gotta keep running, I think, because there's a lot. There's oh a lot. my god, man. Oh fuck. <laughs> nice. Shit, dude. There's so many. Oh, I didn't bring the thing with me this time. Oh no. Okay, climb that way. <laughs> See, I knew there was another way out of here. We're good. They just broke in, too. Oh, yeah. They're like, what they're the like, fuck? where'd he go? It's 
fucking Houdini. Okay, we're gonna combine those birds together. What is that? No, you're like, what do you guys think that is? Like, what What do you, yeah, <laughs> like, come on now. Who are you fooling? Okay, this is the floor. That's in there, yeah. That's there. Might still be an asshole. This guy's gonna get up as soon as we do this. Yeah, I think so. Or as soon as I do something in here. Which? Okay, yeah. Oh, there. Yeah, oh, there's a hole in the wall back here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was pointing This out. guy is a zombie. 100%. Nobody sits hunched over like that when they're dead. Fuck that! Bring it back with us. We'll just be careful. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, exactly. With shotgun shells? Yeah, we're gonna get them later once we have a shotgun. Like, unless there's an item box nearby. Oh, yeah. Fuck! No! There he is. Okay. We're not gonna Did fuck... that guy scream? Yeah, we're not gonna fuck with this guy right now. We're just gonna go this way for now. But I think we really need to find a shotgun before taking him on. Yeah, I have to agree there. A pistol's probably not the way to go. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Purple or oh, red herb. That's red, but it looks like it's pink. Right? <laughs> we'll put that in our fucking things there. It looks like that it's like a said, lavender plant or something. It's just we like... We call oh. red onions red, too. That's true, and they're very purple. they're very purple. It must be a plant thing. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a plant thing. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to, the one, according to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. What do you think of this game so far? I think this game's excellent as yeah. far as a horror game goes. This is Holy really fun. Holy fuck, it's really... I got a couple of good jump scares there. Like, we've been um, asking for this since, uh, fucking... Oh, thanks, man, that's awesome, good yeah, to know. Yeah, we've been yeah. asking for this game for a long time. We've been asking for this game since the remake of Resident Evil 1 came out back in 2002. <laughs> this game is over 10 years late to the party, but by god damn it is fashionably late. Um, this yeah, is we great. appreciate them uh, remaking it instead of just remastering yeah, it. Yeah, that's is, right, like a fucking... Deserving. Yes, a full-on remake. And you know what, like, the other thing that I like about this whole thing, too, is that we have remakes of two of the greatest survival horror games of all time, and both of them are drastically different, both, like, from their predecessors and from each other. Like, look at how different this is from the RE1 remake that we played. Not True. Too that game plays a whole lot differently than this one, even though they're both remakes of classics. Oh, absolutely. Like, this is like, clearly very different. Like, it's obviously, but it's way newer, right? So yeah, like, it would have... They had to, like, that, that sort of... I feel like that sort of Resident Evil style of the fixed camera angles and stuff just doesn't fly anymore these days. Days, cause it now you can't, can, yeah. Because now you can janky. do so much more. People yeah. would complain about it now, but... Uh, oh, well, it's not even that it's janky, because like, they released the HD collection of Resident Evil... Uh the originals like we, we played them there like it, yeah. wasn't, it wasn't that bad but i don't know that was one of my complaints with it It was like sometimes when you turned a corner it was like oh okay, yeah, yeah like the stick feels like a ps1 game yeah like the stick <laughs> you have to readjust the stick to get them to move the right way yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're saying and yeah like they definitely needed to push this game i like move. camera angles like that though oh i like them too yeah but you know what i mean like this day and age like they kind of need to change it up even though i i would love a style i would still play it if it was that style but this is awesome right here uh if they you do. haven't already, make sure you follow and keep yourself notified as to when we're going live. If you check out our links below, we've got Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, all of which we upload meme streams, music, and gameplay. And if you keep an eye on Twitter, you'll also be able to see when we're going live and just general updates with the channel. So there is so. literally no reason not to follow us, right? Yeah, go right. check that shit out if you want to see more content. That's enough for tonight, guys. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Project Dismissed. Peace out, everybody. I'm